80,000 new cases of bladder cancer are diagnosed in the U.S. each year. Mayo Clinic urologist Lance Minder says because it's a cancer with a high risk of recurrence, ongoing vigilance in patients is essential. It involves repeated x-rays, it involves repeated examinations with uh, the cystoscopic instruments, it involves uh, cytologic analysis of the urine, uh, and this is done lifelong. Minimally invasive cystoscopic procedures allow the inside of the bladder to be inspected with white light and a video camera. Suspicious tissue is removed, but Dr. Minders has reason to believe even the best doctors could be leaving cancer behind. One looks at the, uh, the appearance of a, of a tumor in the bladder. It's uh, often a fleshy colored tumor that very much mimics the rest of the lining of the bladder. Mayo Clinic was the lead U.S. site for a 28 facility study of an advancement on the procedure fluorescent guided cystoscopy. A photoreactive drug, CISFU, is placed in the bladder where it's absorbed by tumorous tissue. Add in special light filters and lenses. And then you can flip a switch on the camera. It turns the light from white to blue and that blue light interacts with the chemicals that have been bound to the tumor and it fluoresces red. Dr. Minder says that fluorescence allowed researchers to find more papillary or protruding tumors and 32 percent more cancer in situ, meaning it could be removed before it spread. That translated into a nearly 20 percent drop in bladder cancer recurrence nine months after treatment and a seven to eight month average increase of living tumor free four years after treatment. If you can do something to interrupt that process, and they're, they're eternally grateful. For Mayo Clinic, I'm Dennis Dota.